Howdy guys, Nintendo Capri Sound here. Welcome you back to Let's Play Super Mario 64. Can you can you guess where I am right now? Ah, I bet you didn't know, did you? It's uh, actually that. I'm so used to being able to just press L to set the camera behind me, but um, can't really do that. So uh, anyway, once you get a certain number of stars, you can actually go to the Bowser stage. But now we're gonna go do the Throwback Galaxy, also known as Thwomp's Fortress in this game. And here we are, yeah. Yahoo! Boing, this should look familiar. <laughs> we just did this in Galaxy 2, like, a few months ago. And again, you can pretty much do this in any order you want, so... Knock yourself out. Turn yourself towards the where you want to go and jump up there, and we can take a nice little shortcut. Shortcut to the top. Otherwise, you gotta go through all that crap down there, and you don't particularly want to do that. Oh! You bite, you die! Except you didn't bite, but you still died. That's too bad. Sucks to be you. What is that? What was that? Rewind. I want to see that in instant replay. What was that? What the hell was that, man? Are you serious? Well, if you don't feel comfortable um, crossing the bridge, you can always just go across here this way, all sneaky-like. Now we can sneak up on the plant and beat the hell out of it, right? And these plants will drop blue coins if need be. So you just take your little time, take your time, and wham! Just like that. <laughs> and as you all well know, this right here, let's jump across with a long jump. But again, you don't have the spin jump or a flood to right yourself if you miss jump that, if you miss gauge that jump. So you gotta be careful. Go ahead and zoom out here. I can't believe I haven't been doing that. That's usually the first thing I do. It makes me so mad! We build your houses? Wait a minute, we already did this in Galaxy 2. Let's get it over with. Let's just do it. Yeah, obviously it's a lot easier in this game. Because for one thing, he's not as big. And the jumps are a little quicker. Something about this is just generally quicker. His feet aren't as much of a threat. Oh, jump on the... J oh, get him! Thank you! No, crushed again! Ah! Uh, curse you, Capri Sun! No, we're not doing that again. Yeah. Here we go! I believe you can actually get all six of these stars right away if you want to. Which is probably one of the things that makes... Oh. I guess we have enough to go to Bowser now. I don't even want to go to Bowser. Because see, I'll tell, I don't know if I told you guys this yet about my practice run of this game. And I know I'm talking about my practice run of blah blah blah. But, uh... I went to the Bowser stage, and I could not do it. Like, I literally could not do it. I could not make the jumps. I just... I was not accurate enough. I'm so spoiled on the, you know, the flood and the spin jump that I just couldn't do it. I mean, I could not make the jumps. I could get, like, the first two red coins, and that would be it. Now, for this star, you pretty much want to just do the same thing you did with the first one, go to the top. Which way to the top of the mountain? And then just kind of come around here and uh, climb this little thing here. This is a little bit nerve-wracking. Again, we should probably zoom out. Makes things a lot easier. You can see the whole world from here. See the bullet bills? I think that's the only time you see bullet bills in this game. I'm sure that's not true. I'm sure I'm forgetting something really important here. And just make your way to the top, and guess what? Star time! See how much easier these are than Super Mario Galaxy? I mean, I could be getting like five, six of these in one video. I mean, this is ridiculous, man. <clears throat> yeah, what I was saying in the last video about this warping you out of the level when you get a star. Well, it doesn't do that when you get the 100 coin star. And red coins in this game actually count towards your 100 coin total. I didn't even see what star I was supposed to be doing, so I'm just gonna go do this one. Um... Yeah, red coins count toward your total coin total, so what you want to do is get the 100 coin star. Ideally, you would do that. And pick up the star, and then continue on in the level with the red coins. Or, well, you probably will have collected the red coin star by the time you get the 100 coins, maybe. Depending on how many coins are actually in the level. But then, you know, you would just leave the star there that appeared from the red coins and go back and get the 100 coin star and all that. There's one right there. Except we're going to have to climb up to get this one. I'm sure you could probably do some fancy wall jump combo thing, but this isn't Super Metroid, unfortunately. I can't do that, so... 
Excuse me. Oh, well, you bite, you die. You bite, you die. Okay, fine. You don't die. That time he bit and he didn't die. Where's... Oh, duh, it's right there. Jeez. Are you blind? Oh, take your time. Take your time. There we go. Here we go! So happy. Man, this Yoshi story weren't bad enough. Good lord, man. Let's do some more. This game is fun. I mean, I, I played this game so much in the old days, I had no idea, like, how I even did it. Like, oops, excuse me. I, I never, I, I don't feel like I ever really got that good at it, though, is the thing. I played the living hell out of it, but I just never could. You know, I was 20 years old by the time this game came out. I guess I just never could take to the whole 3D thing, no matter how good I may have seemed to get. There are some games that make it easier. Now, if you look in the very background here, behind the... Right there, there's a cage with a star in it. Now, if you aim the cannon right about... Oh, jeez. Right there, I guess. Um, on my practice run, I got this on the first try, so... <laughs> that wasn't going to happen two times in a row. I'm going to pretty much guarantee you that. I don't know whether I was too high or too low. I think I was too high. Fortunately, it only takes, like, ten seconds to get back to the cannon again, right? Well, let's try that again. Alright, we got the sighting right. Let's try right about there. Got it, got it, got it. Oh, yeah! That's right. That's what I'm talking about. Here we go! It's so much fun. Fall onto the Caged Island. So that's not even the one I was supposed to be doing. I know which one I was supposed to be doing, but uh, I'm just putting that one off. The one that I'm supposed to be doing is actually probably one of the harder ones in the stage. If you're not accustomed to how the cannon works, I mean. And obviously the sixth one will be the red coins, that's gonna be boring. Going around collecting red coins is boring, but, you know, they have to do something like that, I guess. To... So what you want to do here is shoot into this little opening, but you want to use that column that I'm aiming for right there to stop yourself from going clear through it. So I usually aim right about here. Well, that was actually a little low. And then just slide down the pole, and you're good to go. Simple as that. Here we go! Jeez, man. How happy can you get? I guess, well, what are we looking at as far as time goes here? 25 minutes. Let's go do another world. We'll come back for the red coins later. What we'll probably do is have, like, all separate videos for all those or something. I don't know. So we could go to the basement, which is in that door right there. Or we could go... We could go do the princess slide. Or we could do this right here. Oh, yeah. Pull yourself up right away when you get into this world, because you're going to want to try to get all the red coins here. The best way to do that is just follow the path of yellow coins, pretty much. You only get one shot at this, so don't, you know, screw it up there. That's one or two. Yeah, it gets faster if you try to go down too fast, but that's, you know, that's how it has to be done. It's three, four, here comes five and six. There we go. And seven, eight, right there, right there, right there. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Boy, if I didn't know better, you'd think I was a pro at this. I mean, not to say that I'm doing great or anything, but geez, I did not expect to get that on the first try. Pretty much 7 and 8 are the only ones you can get. Um, by just jumping from the platform that you end up on. Now, you might notice I didn't get the switch. That's because I would have missed the star, so... And I was so happy about getting the star that I didn't hear watch this. Oh, I was gonna try to land on the switch. You've stepped on the wing cap switch! Wearing the wing cap, you can soar through the sky! Yeah, I'd like to save. That would be great. Now we can just fall through our doom. Because you can't really die. Uh, why do I have a shadow on the clouds? That makes it feel so... whatever. And we have a world over here that we've yet to unlock. This is one of my favorite worlds in the game, actually. I was surprised how much I enjoyed going through this world again, revisiting this. I love this. Just the aquariums here and everything. It's like... What a nice cucka feeling inducing atmosphere we have here. Uh, one of these days I'm gonna have to explain that, I know. I was gonna finish watching Fringe tonight, season one, because I thought I was at the end of it, but it turns out I got four more episodes. And, well, the DVDs are due back tonight, so I guess they're just gonna have to be late. So I'll just wait for Impolo to get back so we can watch them together. So, uh, first star of this level, what we're gonna do is visit a very nasty customer. By swimming down to the bottom here of the pit, 
See, we got a giant ship here. Very cool, very cool. And there's an eel here. Now, uh, I don't know what the exact trigger is to make this guy come out, but uh, if you get too close to him, eventually he'll try to bite you. So I think what you're supposed to do is just swim to the surface and then swim back down again. Basically, because it's not going to show the eel actually coming out from the hole. You'll never be able to see that, no matter how hard you try. So what you have to do is swim back to the surface. That's the only way the computer can ensure that you're not looking at what's going on. So it can bring the eel out of the hole and into his stationary orbit out in the middle of the room. You might have seen him on the way down. I don't know. I didn't really point him out, but he was there. So now you can get in here. And this is the treasure he was guarding. Let's see if we can get this right. I think this is the wrong one, actually. But... No, no, it's the right one. No, you are doing something right. Look. Let's see. Oh, which one's next? I'm sure the one in the middle is the last one, so let's try this one here. No, that was the wrong one. Okay, we gotta do them over. Get some more toilet paper. I can't believe I got that wrong. I got it right the first time the last time. But I don't remember what what I did last time, so... This takes a little getting used to, too, because if you want to turn right, you're turning right from, like, Mario's perspective, so I'll point the joystick to the right to turn right. But if Mario's facing towards you, then that would actually be left. You'd want to point to turn to your right, if that makes any sense, which I'm sure it doesn't, but that's fine. And the Earth is shaking. Now, if you hurry up, you can actually get up here before you have to do too much of this platform here. This area right here reminds me of that part of Metroid Prime in, uh, in the wrecked ship. It's funny, it's also a wrecked ship, but, uh, yeah, I like the, the remains of the ship where you climb up that one part and it's really hard. And there's a star. It's the secret treasure! It's a secret to everybody, actually. Here we go! Here we go! Just can't get happy enough, I tell ya. Plunder in the sunken ship, and for that we get zero coins, yeah. We didn't get too many coins there. But now that you've cleared that star, pretty much the fog will be lifted from the um, level, and you'll be able to see it for what it really is. Nice blue skies and everything, and Mario's octagon head. You gotta love the octagon, gotta respect the octagon. The octagon is greater than the pentagon. Actually, I couldn't be sure about that. These platforms up here, you'll have to navigate those by jumping later. And you can see the ship is afloat now, too, so... And down here... Now you just kind of look around on the sides of the cave, and you'll see that the eel is actually hiding in a little alcove. And there's also a star here, which supposedly you have to have a certain power-up to get this, but it is possible to get it without the power-up. It's extremely difficult, but it's possible. I've done it before. I'll try to do it now, but I, I don't know. I don't think I'll spend that much time on it. You'd preferably, ideally, you want to have the camera centered behind Mario, so you can just kind of. So close, man! So close. Okay, did you see the eel? He was over here. Let's go say hi. Whoa! Oh shit! Oh shit! 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 It may be too late. Oh, go Mario, go, 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 oh. oh, sorry, Mario, I didn't mean to do that to you. Yeah, you can see he's right below us. See, he's right there. If you get close to him this time, he's going to violently come and try to bite you. And uh, then he'll kind of sink back in, right? Nope, now he swims out. So you will see him swim out of this alcove. But you won't see him swim out of the ship, I can almost promise you that. And there's the... If you look closely, you see there's a star on his tail, so you just gotta go tail him. <laughs> Pretty much. And the star goes back to where he originally came out from, so... Let's go get it. Here we go. Yay, Mario! That's right. So is that... I don't know, that's probably two videos right there, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. Man, I sure hate to quit now. I'm having fun around here. Okay, so um, um, next time on Super Mario Brothers 64, Super Mario 64, we will get some more stars. See you later.